Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I am doing an April favorites video. I have not done a favorites video since ooh, last year and it was my one and only favorites video and I have been watching them recently on YouTube and so I'm like you know what I have a lot of favorite things that are new in my life that I haven't even really talked much about on Instagram um, some of this stuff you'll kind of know what I do if you follow me on Instagram and all the things but I have my favorite things from skincare makeup supplements food clothes and I think that's it. So let's just get started. My number one favorite, I mean, I literally, I could not do a favorites video without going to Starbucks. It's just not right. You know, like if I'm trying to be totally transparent and real, it's an everyday problem right now. I'm not proud of it. Um, but I do have a favorite new drink. So I'm in Florida, it is hot all the time, but on like a chilly or a rainy day, I go for a, my little makeshift latte, and today it's like cloudy and rainy, and it's perfect because I really wanna share this with you guys. So, this right here is a tall, blonde Americano, meaning it has two shots of espresso, and the blonde espresso is actually more strong. I always thought blonde meant weak, but they told me that it just me. it's actually a stronger, you have more caffeine, it's a stronger espresso, but the taste isn't as strong. So what I do is I get a tall blonde Americano with steamed almond milk and one pump of sugar-free cinnamon dolce in a grande cup. And this makes me, oh, there's my lipstick, which we're gonna talk about in a second. But this like really like, it, I don't know, man. It is so good. It tastes exactly like the cinnamon dolce latte, which is so good, but super high in, uh, in just carbs and sugar and stuff. If you get like the real one, that's Brian's favorite drink. And I had him try this and he could not believe it was not the cinnamon dolce latte. Mm. It is so good. And I just add a little bit of stevia and a little bit extra more cinnamon. It's so good. And it really helps me with just like hunger. Um, I don't know, it's a great little, kind of like hold me over until my next meal type of drink. So we're just gonna keep this little baby right here because uh, that's number one in my life right now. So let's talk about skincare. Um, right now, I mean, for the past maybe, I don't even know, six to eight months, I have been using Frey Skincare. It is a skincare line. I am affiliated with the company, but I did use the products first before talking about it. Um, the reason why it really works for me and I love it so much is because this skincare line, Frey, is formulated for sweating skin. And with the job that I have, I mean, I, I am a fitness influencer and I do these crazy workout classes that get me drenched in 45 minutes and so Frey has really saved my skin um, and when I first moved to Florida my face broke out like crazy the humidity it was just adult acne cystic acne hormonal acne all just right here crazy and um, I was working out a lot. I was in bikini prep. I would do cardio in the morning and then I would lift in the evening and then I would also be taking like workout videos for Instagram. So I was constantly sweating. And then the Florida heat, I take so many walks. Well, on bikini prep, I would take a walk after every single meal. And so I, my skin would sweat, my face would sweat from that. So Frey literally saved my skin. I mean, look at my skin. I still have little um, like uneven, I'm getting micro needling to take care of the scarring, but I have no active breakouts, and that's what I wanted help with. I needed help with stopping freaking breaking out. So that's my skincare routine is Frey all the way. I actually bring a little travel size, little baggie with me. They sell it on their website, travel size, and I keep it in my purse, um, and I actually take it into the gym with me, and I wash my face immediately after my workout, but they did come out with a new product that I have been obsessed with, and I haven't really talked about it a lot on Instagram, so I apologize for that but it is their night serum oh my god okay I've been using this probably for two months now it is called recover me night serum and why I love this and why this is such an amazing product is because it 
strengthens the outermost layer of your skin so it stops, like your skin is very porous obviously, and if you don't protect your skin at nighttime and help to strengthen the, the pores on your skin and like that outermost layer of your skin, when you wake up and you go outside, you go to the gym, all those toxins and dirt and debris and pollution, they clog your pores. So what this does, this Recover Me, it actually strengthens the first couple layers of your dermis, your skin, and so it doesn't, it creates a shield for all the pollution. So I wake up in the morning and I go right to a workout class, so my skin is actually protected from all the dirt and disgustingness in the gym, in my workout class, because the gym is like the dirtiest place. So this has been a game changer for my nightly routine, and I seriously have, I don't break out, it's amazing. I love it. So huge staple in my life right now, highly recommend if you're into just having beautiful skin. Um, this stuff is the shit. And then, oh fuck, I forgot another thing. So um, I'll go grab it. But I, so I wash my face with the um, the face wash. I'm actually gonna be doing an updated, I've never actually done one, so I'm just kidding. I'm gonna do a skincare get ready with me routine. Um, so at night I wash my face with the cleanser. I put on the Recover Me. I brush my teeth and I wait for this to dry. And then I put on some tea tree oil and some jojoba oil. I don't know how to say it. I actually just got this from Trader Joe's, you guys. But jojoba oil is really great for getting off any makeup, um, removing makeup, cleansing clogged pores, softening the skin, and moisturizing, and it's also really good for inflammation. And I do have a tea tree oil that I use as well. Um, it is, I'll go grab it in one second. Okay, so this is my tea tree oil. I just got it off of Amazon. Um, that's the only, oh, here we go. Kivia, Kiva, K-E-E-V-A, tea tree oil acne treatment cream. Um, this little guy, it was two ounces. It was kind of expensive. I don't remember the cost of it, um, but I think it was like around 60 bucks. I don't even really know. I can't remember, but it's lasted me a really long time, so I would just get the whole big thing because I did start with a small thing and I went through it so fast, but I take some of this in my on my fingertips and then I just do a couple drops of the jojoba oil and after I cleanse and wash, this is the last step of the night and I just put it all over my face and it's... I don't break out. I don't know. I wake up glowing and my skin is really soft and I am loving it. So that's right now my little, my new obsessions for skincare. But like I said, I will be doing an up, not an updated. I will be doing a get ready with me, my morning and night skin routine plus makeup and makeup we're going to talk about right now. So, um, one of my April favorites that I can't not bring up is spray tan, getting a spray tan every two weeks. So my girl, Sydney, you're an April favorite. Tans by Sydney is her Instagram handle. I'll put it right here. She's unbelievable. If you're in Florida, she comes to your house at like any time of day. She's insane. I love her so much. And the tan lasts, I'm not kidding you, like seven to 10 days, like plus. Um, it's incredible. I have it on right now. It's so natural. I'm obsessed. So um, I just wanted to point that out because I have two different colors right here for my BB cream that I've been using for my foundation. So this is the Tarte BB cream and it has SPF as well. Um, 12 hour primer, healthy treatment, buildable coverage. So you can make it as, um, you can like pack it on and make it full coverage if you need to. I like kind of like a, a light to medium coverage right now. Oil free pore minimizer, which I love because I feel like I have big pores and skin brightener. So I have two different colors because um, I do get spray tan. So this is my like darkest shade when I'm tan. This is my normal shade. And then right now I'm kind of mixing them, but I'm obsessed right now, obsessed with this BB cream for my foundation. Um, I really wanted like a lighter, not like as like thick of a foundation. And this is like not oily in the slightest. It's not, it doesn't like, leave like brush strokes on your skin um, when you apply it. I use a, a damp beauty blender and I just like start with a little tiny bit and then I build upon that in the areas that I need to. Like right here, I have a lot of scarring. So if I need to build right there, I will. Um, but right now, this is the foundation that I have on my face. Um, what I use every single day. A lot of you guys have been complimenting my skin recently and the Tarte BB cream is what I've been using. And another obsession of mine right now is this MAC 
prep and prime. I went to Ulta to actually get this BB cream and I was telling her how I have these like, just like under eye bags. I feel like they're just like dark circles under my eyes. And she said that I need to be setting it with a, um, like a translucent primer. So I guess it's called baking. I don't know, I'm not like a makeup girl. I love makeup, but like I don't know how to talk about it. Um, but what I do is I put, I start my face with my BB cream and then I'll go in with just a little bit of my concealer. Right now I'm just using MAC, um, MAC like Pro Longwear, I don't, don't know the name, but it's just concealer. Um, and I put it under my eye as well as my eyelid. And I put that on the beauty blender and then I, I put a ton of product on my beauty blender. So I will just open this up I get my I dampen my beauty blender just a tiny little bit if I if I need to but if it's already damp I don't wet in it at all and then I will just put it right in the powder get a good amount of powder on there and just pack it on my under eye just right here up like there and then I'll leave the powder on while I'm bronzing and then in a couple minutes after I'm done bronzing and highlighting and um, doing my blush and things like that then I'll just take a clean brush and I'll just wipe away the powder and it makes your under eyes so bright like you can see like here's my my like my contour which I did a shitty job I, I'm still learning you guys um, my, my bronzer and then I have like you know light underneath my eye and that's what I want I don't want that dark so this MAC prep and prime I got at Ulta so this is my go-to right now and this is a very new thing I've been doing so I want to update you guys on that but you'll see all of that in a later video and then lips so <laughs> I love lipstick I love lip liner and I'm obsessed my go-to right now is the Kylie lip kit in color candy K love it um, lip liner and then you go in with the matte lipstick it's not gloss I guess it is gloss but it's not it's matte it's not shiny and it stays all day long like you see it on my coffee cup and it's still on my lips I love it obsessed like I love doing a simple makeup right now where it's just my BB cream a little bit of bronzer and blush tiny little highlight and then some lipstick and I'm good to go for the day love it so gotta take a drink So that is for skincare, and I will go into clothes right now, since we're doing beauty, I guess. So, um, a 2019 favorite. I'm just gonna say a 2019, probably for the rest of my life until I die, Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova, you have my heart in my bank account. Um, yeah, so um, stop sending me coupons, Fashion Nova, because I can't say no so every time i get a stupid coupon in my facebook messenger or in my text messages or my email i'm on fashion nova and i'm buying something so i need to do a fashion nova haul, like clothing haul but i have so i order from them like once a week don't 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 tell brian um it's i have a package coming probably today or tomorrow it's it's bad but there are some favorites that I wanna talk about that I'm obsessed with from Fashion Nova, and it is the whole mom jeans thing, which I never thought I would say because I always thought they were so unflattering, but I was so wrong. Mom jeans are so flattering. I swear they make you look skinnier, I promise. Because if you think about it, they're baggier and they're loose, so they're not, like you don't have a little muffin top because they're baggier. So if you wear a tight shirt or a little crop top, even if you don't think your stomach is ready for a crop top, it will be ready in mom jeans, I swear to you. So these are my very first pair of mom jeans and I'm obsessed. I got them from Fashion Nova. They are just, they cuff a little bit at the end. There are some rips and they're just like big and baggy. I'll wear a belt and I wear like a little crop top like this, um, which I got at Fashion Nova. <laughs> um, so cute, I love it. So these are the mom jeans. And then I also have these um, like mom shorts, I call them. I don't really know, but they're again, very like distressed and ripped, but big. I have to wear a belt, um, which is fine. I love it. They're an extra small and they're long in the back. So there's no ass hanging out. 
Um, I'm not about that, I swear. I'm like a fucking 55 year old woman in a 28 year old woman's body or something because I'm like not about the ass hanging out. But I love these so much, so cute with a crop top on or like a little onesie with like a little, uh, I love onesies right now. Um, so I'll do like a little spaghetti strap onesie or like a two top onesie and wear like a light little cardigan over the top. So cute, love these again, Fashion Nova. Obsessed. Um, I had to point that out. And then everything else on Fashion Nova, it's so cheap, so affordable. They're always giving out coupons. I cannot rave about them enough. Okay, so another piece of clothing right now that I'm obsessed with. These pieces are from Zoffel, and it is matching pajamas. Oh my God, who am I, guys? So I'm obsessed. I have two pairs, and then I have like a, a little like um, kind of like a teddy or something, um, a little like kind of dress looking thing that I didn't want to, I didn't show you, but um, they're just matching pajamas. Like I never used to be someone that would like buy pajamas. My mom would get us pajamas every year for Christmas. Like that was like the only pair of pajamas I would ever own. But now I just love it. Like I, I don't know. Like laying around like at nighttime, like getting into like my little matching. Set. It just makes me feel good. I don't know. So this is um, shorts and a tank top, um, kind of silky material from Zoffel. I live in Florida, so it's perfect for those hot summery nights. And then I love this too. This is again, as you can see, just like cheap silk. It's bedtime, so you know. Um, shorts again, kind of longer. These um, are super short, but these are long. And then um, this is like a cute little button up i i love it it's so cute brian thinks i'm so adorable when i wear these so um i just am really into matching pajama sets right now i think it's adorable and so cute um so let's get into let's do like supplements right now supplements and vitamins and that and like that kind of healthy stuff so if you watch my instagram story or if you're a client of mine you already know this but i have to put it on here it is this little concoction right here yes i am affiliated with both of these companies but that is not the reason why i'm talking about this i literally use this and do this every single day um so i needed to share it so my biome greens it's gonna be a staple, again, for the rest of my life until I die. Um, I give it to all my family, mem family members, I recommend it to everybody, but what I've been doing is I mix my Biome Greens with some collagen peptides from 1UP Nutrition. 18 grams of grass-fed protein right here. It helps with your joints, your hair, skin, and nails. This Biome Greens gets you your, gets you your fruits and veggies for the day, as well as those vitamins and minerals. There's also probiotics and digestive enzymes in here, so it's really great for your gut health, your skin. My skin has cleared up ever since using Biome. It's just my digestion is on point from Biome. And so, you know, it really does help your skin, that glowy. Um, you're just kind of fixing your gut from within. And then the collagen peptides, I love it. I, for my joints, I work out hard and my hair, my skin, my nails, everything. And it helps get me some extra protein in. So when I'm feeling like a little hungry midday, I will make this little drink right here. I will just add some water, you know, like a cup or a cup and a half of water and then put it in a shaker, shake it up or use my hand blender. Um, if I want it a little bit sweet, I'll add a little bit of stevia really good staple every single day. And then some supplements from 1UP that I've been loving right now. If you might have seen this on my Instagram story this past weekend, but I'm really loving the organic natural line of 1UP's products. So there's two things that I'm obsessed with. It, one of them being the vegan all natural protein. Now I, I use this not every single day. I'm gonna be real and honest with you. I got the vanilla flavor because I like getting vanilla flavor for protein because if I want chocolate, I can always add cocoa powder or cacao powder. And if I want vanilla, I have vanilla. So it's kind of like a little hack for me, like a kind of saving money so I don't need two flavors. But this has four ingredients. It has the uh, vegan protein, a vanilla flavor, organic vanilla flavor, organic coconut oil, organic stevia. Four ingredients in this whole thing. So good, all natural, it does not bloat you. So I feel really good in the morning after having this. And that's really, you know, I, I love, I, that's the main reason why I, I buy this is for the bloat and everything like that. Uh, Cause whey protein can bloat you. Um, it has dairy in it, so it can break you out a little bit. I don't really have a problem with whey protein, but some people do, so lost my camera there for a second. Uh, but if you have a problem with whey protein or dairy, 
highly recommend. This is the best quality vegan protein you will find for ingredients. Like that is what you want. And then they also have these all natural vegan BCAAs. Love this stuff. This is probably the only BCAAs I will buy from now on from 1UP Nutrition um, because I don't want to have a ton of artificial sweetener or artificial dyes or colorings. If I can limit the amount of artificial stuff in my life, I will. Um, this is raspberry lemonade. I really love it. Again, just a very few ingredients. It's literally just your amino acids um, and stevia extract <laughs> and that's it so really awesome very minimal and then for my protein that I bake with and cook with and put in my oatmeal it is always the one up way right now I am cycling between the cinnamon french toast flavor and the white chocolate mint the white chocolate mint has my heart that is my flavor but I also really love the cinnamon french toast I love that cinnamon morning kind of flavor um, and you know another April favorite of mine is definitely my little oatmeal parfait that I showed you guys in a previous video I eat it every morning I had it this morning and so I'll do like a quarter of a scoop in my oatmeal parfait in my oatmeal it's so good so that is you know supplement wise and then for like vitamins I just wanted to quickly tell you guys that I have been taking turmeric I got this at vitamin shop and I take this after breakfast just two pills it helps Helps with inflammation and it is known to really help with your skin so um, I mean my skin has been in a very good condition so I don't see like a difference but it's turmeric like it's uh, this was an expensive bottle um, I will pay for good quality things so I don't remember how much it was maybe it was like 40 ish bucks but you can get um, something for a lot cheaper at vitamin shop um, but if you want to you know maybe you are having some skin issues or you're really sore as of recently inflammation you gotta hit up some turmeric so that has been my daily thing every single morning so I just wanted to point that out because I am doing that and that's a little bit different and then this is huge oh my god this has saved my life so this is by the company Coda and it's called deep breath stress and mental energy help so this honestly a lot of people have been talking about like you know CBD for stress and it doesn't work for me like it, it doesn't like yeah when I'm in California and I can get like the CBD and like a little THC like a little like pen I can hit then yes I will say like that does help with my anxiety but if there's THC in it I get lethargic and tired and I don't want to do anything you know it helps my anxiety but I get like lethargic and I don't want to do anything but this right here my really good friend Dustin made this and he sent me a sample he sent me a few pills and he wanted me to try it and give him, him my honest review and this was like this was oh my god maybe like six months ago and I was obsessed anytime I was feeling overwhelmed or anxious like not even work related I would take one or two the serving sizes two and it would cure my anxiety like magic like I swear and then and then as a bonus it has that mental like mental energy so this is great for work if you have a stressful job or anything or even just like the gym to be honest I love that that focus and this is what it gives so it helps your anxiety and it helps you focus and get shit done so when I am working this is you people want to know how I do so much in a day hi it's this 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 is it my business uh, partner in a bottle so if you suffer from anxiety and want help with stress and being focused you know whatever I just try it you can use my code for 10% off X Tina it's not you know shit like this does not make me loads of money so I'm not trying to just get you to buy something that's not that's not gonna work this actually works so I could not recommend this stuff a lot enough I love it and then two more things and then I am done. I have my Apple AirPods. Now I will say these were actually in my last year's favorites video, but then they one broke. And then I was like, fuck this. These are terrible because they wouldn't give me another one and it was just a mess. But then I have been on the phone with my clients so much this year because I've, I've gotten a lot of business coaching clients and I have, was breaking out right here where I hold my phone and I'm like, I need the AirPods because I want to talk on the phone but not have a, like my dirty cell phone on my, on my skin. So 
so if you are someone that uses the phone a lot or I don't know, like this has just been a favorite for me because now I can just pop my headphones in and talk to my clients and I don't have my dirty cell phone screen clog clogging my pores and I have not been breaking out ever since. So these have been a favorite. They're making a comeback. Last but definitely not least, Huh. Revival by Jack Cookies. All right, this is another company I am not affiliated with. I just love her. Oh my God. Okay, so these cookies, these are so good. Okay, so they are humongous cookies. They're protein cookies. And if you have not tried these, you're, I, I'm sorry, like you're missing out and you need to order them right now as soon as you are done watching this video. But look at the size of these cookies. They are huge, the size of your head. Um, they're, the sprinkle, uh, the flavors are sprinkle, which is like a sugar cookie, um, oatmeal, chocolate chip, brownie. Oh my, this is my favorite, I think, because I'm a chocolate addict. And peanut butter chip, which is Brian's, because I don't like peanut butter. Um, Jack, can you make an almond butter chip? I would appreciate that. Almond or cashew butter chip, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> um, these are absolutely incredible. The reason why I love these is because you don't have to feel bad eating them. I will say they are higher calorie than the other protein cookies out there on the market, but that is because of the quality of the ingredients. These do not have artificial sweetener. These do not have that fake fiber that is going to bloat you and make your stomach hurt. There are only, there's, they're so clean. They are not, they're vegan. They're not made with any um, butter or eggs. It is just, oh, there is eggs, I'm sorry, um, but that's, that's fine. Um, the ingredients, like the main ingredients, are 100% whole wheat flour, 100% pure cane sugar, eggs, coconut oil, and then this one has peanut butter, um, and pro a protein blend, a casein and whey protein blend. And that's it, you guys. So they are so soft because of the coconut oil. It's not that butter. It's just, I'm telling you, like, yes, they're about 250 to 260 calories for, a, you know, one the size of your head. But what I do is if I don't want the whole serving, I'll either cut it in half and put the rest in the fridge or I'll split it with Brian at the end of the night. And I have a cookie that's 120 calories that is still a huge serving because if you cut it in half, I mean, hello, you're still eating that much of a cookie. And I do not wake up bloated. I, I wake up feeling so good and I actually feel leaner. I will say, because I'm not, I used to, like, if I wanted a sweet treat at the end of the night, I would eat those, like, Enlightened or Halo Top bars, and that's fine, but because of all of the artificial sweetener, I would wake up feeling actually puffy. Like, I would actually look bloated. So these, you guys have to check her out. I don't have a code, but you're not gonna be sorry, I promise. And I forgot I have, two more things, two more food favorites that I have to share with you. Um, one of them, I'll start with the boring one. That's really weird first, so don't judge me, but this is a favorites video, and I don't, if you follow my Instagram and follow my YouTube, you probably know this already, but you guys, don't think I'm weird, but I know you're going to. This is my new obsession. Listen, listen, hard boiled eggs, I I I have I don't know why. But I love them. I had one today pre-workout. I don't know. But I love them. They're great. So yeah, I just had to throw that out there. And then I have two little favorites. One of them I don't have, so I'll have to verbally tell you because I ate them. But these are from Trader Joe's and they are chocolate covered frozen strawberries. The serving size is six six of them for 100 calories, three and a half fat, 15 carbs, two fiber for six. Are you kidding me right now? So I've never even had all six. I will like just have like two or maybe three, like midday or at the end of the night. So these great sweet tooth hack. This is from Trader Joe's. I also love their um, at Fresh Market. 
and they have chocolate covered banana slices and the serving size is three uh, for the banana slices and they're like you know this big and again I'll never even have three I'll just usually pop one and I'm fine or maybe two and I'm and I'm good to go um, so that is what, I, is what I've been doing for like my sweet treat if I am feeling like I really want something sweet and then I will just point out as well since I'm over here these are another little sweet treat that I will snack on at the end of the night. Trader Joe's Dark Chocolate Caramel Wedges. Um, if you can see, they're a pretty good size. Look at that. And the serving size is two for 60 calories. Only four and a half fat and seven carbs for 60 calories for two of them. Sometimes I'll just have one and I'm good to go. Sometimes I'll have two and that's, uh, and that's okay with me. So. And I guess since I'm in the kitchen, I'm talking about favorites. You guys have seen this on Instagram and on YouTube before. Oh, I just burned myself. My pork, my crock pot pork recipe. I cannot believe we are not sick of it yet, but we have it every single week and we have it for dinner Monday and Tuesday night. And then we also have it like for lunch and we'll throw it in with our eggs for breakfast. We eat this constantly throughout the week and it's still not getting old yet. It's that good. So this is definitely a favorite. It's on a previous full day of eating video. It's on my Instagram. You know, email me, DM me, put a comment down below if you want the recipe and I can try to find the video for you because um, I walk you through it. So that is it. I'm sorry if this video is really long, but those are all my favorites right now. And I hope you guys give some things a try. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about anything that I mentioned. And if you like this favorites video, let me know. Give me a thumbs up or let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll do a favorites video like every month or every other month if I have some new things I wanna talk about. Um, I don't usually do stuff like this, so let me know if this is stuff that you like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!